Hi, I'm Tom, and today we're going to take this Farmall 140. I've got a fast hitch, one row planter on the back, and I'm going to put in some sunflowers. And I'm just going to go over the setup of this planter, and then we're going to go plant a couple rows. So the first thing I have to do for this planter is I have to get the drawbar so it's leveled and I can adjust the drawbar. Now, these came bent, and I thought I ruined it because I had the mower on it, and the way the, the bar sticks out on the sickle mower, I thought I wrecked this. But come to find out, they were made this way, and the reason being is to go in behind your side dresser, like this. Uh, so, thank you for telling me that. So again, this is something you may want to do with a friend, so you don't hurt yourself. So in order to hook this up, you pull this pin out up here. And you can't quite see it, but there's a cotter pin, and then there's a clevis right here. So you Pull that cotter pin out, if I can. Ouch. Yep. And then you can feel up in there. And take that pin out. And then this whole deal drops Maybe. down. Right Let's see. There's too many variables. And none of the, none of the uh, manuals tell you how this goes. All right, well now it's clear, it's missing everything as it should. All right, so there's the hitch and we'll put some seed in there. You can see this is how it's connected now. So I've got this the opposite way that the manual says to put it. Um, and then it goes up. It looks like it misses the counter shaft completely, and then it hooks in up here. So these are just black oil sunflower seeds. They're the same ones I feed the birds. So the back hopper, that's fertilizer, I'm not going to use any. And then this one here is the seed. So we'll throw that in. All right, so we're all connected here and the rain's gone by. So we'll put some go-go juice in. You'll never find a crappy old John Deere run this sweet. Factory gas gauge. Good. Alright, now I can hear myself again. So again, thanks Mark for uh, letting me know that I didn't ruin ruin this. And Yeah, we had two uh, 140s when I was growing up, but neither one of them had a fast hitch on them, so this is new to me too. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to do, I think I can get three rows of sunflower in here, and we're going to use the old coal garden planter. So. Uh, let's get planting. Every year there's a bit of a learning curve with this machine and it's a combination of getting the pitch of your drawbar right when you come down adjusting this depth stop correctly because what happens is if you bring this down this stop down too low that jacks the back end up which you don't want and you don't want it to come up too high um, but you want to be able to ram the sword in the ground not over the skis here like happened to me but the skis are supposed to float and then the sword is your depth so you can see down there that's the depth you should be planting and it is adjustable and this right here is your um, your disc opener right here and then this right here is your fertilizer hopper I didn't put any fertilizer in for sunflowers and then this is my my sunflower seed and so what happens is this packing wheel right here turns and when the wheel turns it turns the shaft here, which turns another cog there, and then it drops the sunflowers out. So they catch in here, they come up on this gear, and they drop down in there.
drops them down underneath. So you have to keep an eye on that. Regardless, there's a lot of stuff to pay attention to with this one. Or the, the IH one. Uh, there's not a lot of not a lot of issues. One of the prime reasons I got the IH two row planter was because this one right here, it's like you go plant your field and then you have to come back and plant it all over again. Because it just doesn't wanna just doesn't want to turn like there's no other ad adjustment on this other than there. so to answer somebody's question uh, you don't have to have license plates in Maine it's just whatever year the tractor is I find the plate uh, in the state that it came from so if like, this is a 73 uh, farmo that was sold right here in Maine, so it's a Maine 1973 plate on it. I just thought it was something cool. Um, my brother's Super C, it says Greg on it with his birthday. But uh, that's the only one that's different. Let's try this. Yeah, that seems to be working better now. When I got this, I chose this one over the the, uh, the IH one because it had the hopper on it for the fertilizer, and I kind of regret it. I think the IH one is definitely a better machine. You can change the uh, the depth gauge, the stop on the fast hitch on the on the uh, lock shaft. I'm just not a big fan of this planter, so. So if I had to do it all over again, I don't think I'd buy one now. So it's sitting on the wheel instead of the... It's really tilted back. But the wheel turns. So I'm sure some of you are like, you know, I could plant this garden by hand faster than you could do it with this tractor. Well, I can't do YouTube videos with me out here with a hoe, but I can demonstrate machinery. So the other thing you have to be careful of too is if you drive this knife too far on the ground, then your opener here, your opening right there where the seed comes out, gets packed full of crap, and then nothing comes out. But not all the way, we're going to set the depth stop here. Alright, so we'll give this a try. I think we got it now. So I think I got it. It's turning. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and finish up without you. I'll give you a parking shot on the way out. So the coal planter, eh, it takes a lot of adjusting to get it to work right. And I, I think I have finally, but you really have to have a fine mi mixture between um, setting the pressure on your, on your packer wheel, not sinking the sword too far, or you plug up right here, which is where your seeds come out. So you got to pay attention to that. It's just a lot of uh, a fiddling around. And then once you get it set up, it's t it tends to be okay. Uh, but I still think, hindsight being 2020, I should have bought the IH one when I had the chance. But, uh, you know, live and learn. So, like I said, I'll give you some parting shots on the way out. And I will talk to you next time. Thank you for watching.